Good morning, my friends from Manila, Philippines. It's Alex here again, and、um, this is another video from Intramuros, the walled city of Manila. So, yeah,、uh, to be honest, it's really close to my hotel, so、uh, I decided to come here again just to explore a little bit more this beautiful old town and,、um, of course, to show you around. As you can see, the weather is perfect today. I mean, it was raining yesterday night, and right now it's morning, it's sunny, and it's kind of fresh. So I think it's just a good time to take a walk here, enjoy the weather, and discover new historical places. And now I am going to visit Baluarte de San Diego. San Diego Gardens. Let's go, let's go. The Baluarte de San Diego is a historic fortification located in Intramuros, Manila, Philippines. It was built in the late 16th century. And actually, this is one of the oldest stone fortifications in the country. The fort was initially constructed by the Spanish conquistadors to defend the city against attacks from indigenous forces and foreign invaders. The Baluarte de San Diego is known for its distinctive five sided structure, which was designed to provide strategic defense from multiple angles. It features thick walls, cannons, and other defensive structures typical of Spanish colonial fortifications. Yes, it was a time when the Spanish ruled with an iron grip, and Manila was a key city in their vast empire. Baluarte de San Diego was just a part of the grand fortification of Intramuros, the walled city. It stood as a symbol of power, a testament to the Spanish colonial rule that was in full swing. The bastion was built not just for military function, but also to showcase the might and grandeur of the Spanish Empire. And I guess the local dog is also exploring the Baluarte de San Diego. Hey, where are you going? Anyway, today this fortress, with its timeless allure, paints a vivid picture of the city's history while simultaneously offering a serene retreat from the city's bustling streets. By the way, walking through these beautiful gardens, you can't help but feel a sense of tranquility, a powerful connection to the past. I mean, blooming around the fortress, they provide a lush, green contrast to the stone walls of the bastion. And what do we have here? It's probably some antique equipment. I don't even know what it is for, to be honest, my friends. But yeah, just look at this. It seems very old, very old. And this one's too. And this unique structure, the only one of its kind in the Philippines, serves as a silent witness to the countless tales of Manila's past. But I mean, it's not just an ancient relic, it's a living monument breathing life into the stories it holds. It's definitely a place where the walls speak, where every stone tells a story. The wall is really old, very old. Hundred years old. Can you imagine this? Throughout its history, the fort has undergone several renovations and restorations to preserve its historical significance. And today it serves as a popular tourist attraction and often used as a venue for cultural events and exhibitions. To sum up, the Boulevard de San Diego stands as a reminder of the Philippines' colonial past and its strategic importance in the region. Okay, my friends, I'll continue my exploration of Intramuros, and this is the oldest car that I've ever seen. 
Yeah, just look at this. Wow. I wonder if it's still working. That's really interesting. I've never seen such cars before. I think it doesn't work. But who knows, maybe it works. I just like the old style. It's really beautiful. I like it. By the way, my friends, these old barracks used to be prisons in the past. Can you imagine this? Yeah, the old architecture is still the same. It's getting hot. And this is my friends, St. Augustine Church. If you remember the first time when I was here in Intramuros, I couldn't go inside this church because it was a wedding ceremony. So let's do it now. St. Augustine Church is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and recognized as the oldest stone church in the Philippines. The church has survived various natural disasters and wars, making it a resilient symbol of cultural and historical heritage. Now the church remains an active place of worship and popular destination for tourists and locals alike. I highly recommend you to visit this place, because the church is providing a glimpse into the country's colonial past and the enduring legacy of the Spanish influence on the Philippine culture. Over there, it's Manila Cathedral. I have no idea what's going on there, but I can see there are a lot of people there. Perhaps some kind of protests or demonstrations. Yeah, as you can hear, something is going on there. I don't understand Tagalog, but yeah, let's read English here. Historical first time in filing for mandamus on election to Supreme Court by non-political civilian groups and people. I think it's like a mini protest here. But anyway, I'll keep going.